One building on Lake Street in Elmira will soon be getting a bit of a makeover. The Schmung County Legislature passed a resolution tonight selecting the architectural firm to complete the work. WNY's Isabel Garcia joins us in the studio now with details about the project. Isabel. Logan, the Mohawk building sits directly next to the Hazlitt building on Lake Street in Elmira. It's owned by the county and the New York State Workers Compensation Board, along with the Chemung County Tax Office and DWI Office, currently rent space on the first floor. The second floor and some exterior work are the focus of this renovation project. Tonight what happened is the legislature approved a uh, preliminary uh, contract with four associates, uh, the uh, architectural engineering firm, so they can come in and start to scope the work and put together a, a plan, a scope of services, and the types of different contracts that will have to be bid out. Call it the perfect storm. While the Mohawk building is in need of some repairs, another county-based office is in need of some space. Some of the second floor is currently occupied by the county's records uh, management system, management uh, department, uh, and there's additional space that's up there, and we have a need for space for our public advocate's office. Among internal fixes, including building an elevator and expanding office space, the exterior of the building is in need of serious repair. In front of the building, from the top of the roof on the second floor to the uh, top of the building, uh, there's a slight bow uh, that's about, it, it sets in about a foot. Uh, so that'll have to be corrected. It's brick. Uh, that's not unusual in older facilities, uh, especially brick where uh, water gets behind the brick. It's not unusual to have deterioration. The Mohawk Building renovation project is expected to cost about $1.3 million. County officials say around $800,000 will be covered through state funds from the Public Advocate's Office. The Public Advocate's Office uh, received a grant in order to expand space and expand their office to accommodate uh, some growth in that office for services that they're going to be providing. It's expected to take about three months for the architects to scope out that facility, with bids then starting early next year. Officials are hopeful that construction can begin sometime next spring. For now, reporting in the studio, Isabel Garcia, WENY News.